All these years of mastery camos, some of you might not remember. A lot of them on this list you probably forgot existed. And I'm going to sit here and try to rank them. 1 to 10. From my considered worst to my considered best. Hopefully you guys can kind of agree with this on me. We'll kind of find out. But I hope that I can kind of show you guys something you forgot about. Maybe show some nostalgia in there. For those of you who don't know, I'm the Game Captain. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you want to take a second, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you haven't seen my video before, maybe you've been here before. Not quite sure, but I love the support. But anyways, I want to get on to the rules here uh, for this top 10. And um, unfortunately, it excludes some games like Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Autumn Camo is not considered a mastery camo. It's one of the last ones you unlock, but it's not a mastery camo because it doesn't take certain things to unlock that are a lot harder to do than normal camos, which really sucks because I like Modern Warfare 2 camos a lot. The rules are as follows. It has to be a camo that's locked behind some sort of hard achievement to unlock, whether that be most of the time getting all the camos on a certain uh, class of guns or maybe hitting a certain challenge, which we'll get into in some of these camos. Number 10, Black Ops 1 Gold. The way it would work is you would unlock it after Prestige 14 and you'd be able to buy it on any gun that you wanted. Most of you probably forgot this existed. Uh, I probably did for the most part, uh, but I the reason it's so... And it's only top 10 it was never really the reason it's number 10 is it's not really that known and not a lot of times you would see it while playing call of duty i forgot it existed because i never really saw it uh, i never had it myself i play black ops one a lot but i never had that camo and i would probably say i see one out of every like 10 games with somebody with a gold gun it was pretty rare because prestige 14 was a really hard level to hit also it looks pretty good overall with the black detailing with gold this is like the beginning of gold for most of uh Mastery camo setting the, the the trend forward from here. The reason it's number 10 is it's pretty underwhelming, but it still makes it because of the nostalgia of Black Ops 1. Number 9, World at War 2 Chrome. Now, I wasn't really a big player of uh, World at War 2. I played the zombies here and there. You get this camo by getting diamond on every gun on World at War 2. And overall, it looks pretty good, um, but it's most underwhelming, I would say, of most mastery camos, especially the ones coming up on this list. There's just a lot better that you can do, and I think overall, to spend all that time to unlock Chrome, and the game being kind of mid-tier all overall, it's not best for your time. Especially for the way it looks. It looks okay, but at number 9, I would say a little bit better than uh, Black Ops 1 Gold, based on the overall that it is a mastery camo for unlocking Diamond on all guns. But overall, pretty underwhelming. And an underwhelming game. All right, this is where we start getting to a little bit more beefier, a little bit nicer camos. And we're going to start this off with number eight, Black Ops 4 Diamond. Now, a lot of people remember Diamond um, from the older games, but in Black Ops 4, it was reactive. Um, every bit of kills you get, I think it was 5, 10, 15, I don't remember the exact number, it would change the color of Diamond. And this kind of like started the trend of reactive camos that uh, get further down into the list. But it, it just overall was something that was dynamic and changed as the game progressed. And it just overall looked good in all tiers. And people really loved the diamond camo. I myself uh, played Black Ops 4 a lot, but I never got uh, the diamond camo. I mostly got gold for some weapons. I was really into the zombies, which is something you'll come to find out with me over time. I really enjoy the zombies overall. But I do know about a lot of these camos. And the lower we get, I, the more I have of them. Mediocre. Uh, definitely better than the last two. Um, and it is, like I said, a reactive camo, and there's much better than it, but it is still pretty nice and worth your time compared to the Chrome of World War II. All right, number seven. This one might be a little bit controversial, but Modern Warfare Damascus. Now, for those of you that love Damascus, I'm sorry, but I just didn't really like it that much. Um, the colors didn't look that great, and... I just think it wasn't really worth it overall, but I know a lot of people really, really like Damascus. That's why it's number seven on this list, because I know a lot of people are going to go, oh, Damascus, I love it. It's great. It's, it's amazing. I'm not part of that team, um, but I do admire that it looks good, and it is different compared to most Master Camos. Modern Warfare really took a different trend and tried to not copy the Master Camos of the past and try to do something different, and that I can admire for it, and that's why it's on this, this level. Overall, good looking camo, not for me, but I know it, it deserves a spot where it's at. Number six, now this is a little bit more my kind of camo in Modern Warfare, and that's Obsidian. For anybody that knows me, I played a lot of Modern Warfare, and I have Obsidian on a good bit of guns uh, because I really, really like the overall look of Obsidian. Um, anything that's like a darker camo, anything that looks cool like that, like I never, I'm not a fan of the brighter camos. 
So that's why it comes in at number six for me. And there's still so much better on this list, but Obsidian's got to get a spot here because I really love Obsidian and I love the game. And I think overall it fits right here. It's a perfect spot for it. Now, number five, a game I didn't play, um, but I had to look up and kind of look at the camos. And I knew a lot of people like these camos. I had to put number five as Infinite Warfare Black Sky. Now, I didn't know what it looked like. I had to find out. and But when I looked at it, I'm like, wow, this is a really good master camo. Um, it really, really looks good. Um, I know the one below that was Solar, and Solar looked pretty cool, but it just wasn't my kind of style of camo. Black Sky looked beautiful, and I definitely think it fits right here, especially for anybody that really played Infinite Warfare. Um, this is for you guys. All right, number four. This one. This one has some nostalgia for me. Uh, for anybody that played Black Ops 2 Heavy, they will know this, and it's Black Ops 2 Diamond. There wasn't a tier of camo above Diamond. There was only Diamond in Black Ops 2, which really sucks because Diamond looks so nice. Um, I have a lot of nostalgia with it because I played a lot of Black Ops 2, and I know a lot of you guys did. And just being able to get a camo on a gun for, for playing with it for so long was just so nice because I got the Submachine Guns Diamond. It was one of my first mastery camos I ever got in any Call of Duty. And I don't regret it one bit. I loved that camo. It was so nice. And I know many of you guys really enjoyed it as well. So that's why Black Ops 2 Diamond fits perfectly in the number four spot for me. Now, number three. This one gets this spot strictly for nostalgia. And being one of the first ever mastery camos in any Call of Duty. For those of you that haven't picked it up already, it's Call of Duty 4 Gold. Gold in Call of Duty 4 was one of the first uh, mastery camos that you can unlock in any Call of Duty. The Gold Desert Eagle, which is the most iconic of the gold weapons, you had to be level 55. Now, I never saw anybody with it, personally, but I know that it was a thing, and it was so hard to get, and it was the first mastery camo of Call of Duty history. You can also get it on the N10-14, the Dragonov, the Mini Uzi, the AK-47, and the M60-E4. Now, those were the main weapons of each class, so when you got it gold, it really showed that you were dedicated to that weapon class. And there's just nothing like it on this tier list. It's the nostalgia, it's the start. And without Call of Duty 4 Gold, we wouldn't have the rest of these mastery camos. So that's why it deserves a spot on number three. But we got so much better. Now, number two. One of people's favorites. I would say number one favorite, but not my personal number one favorite on this list, is Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Dark Matter. Now, Dark Matter was... One of the first camos that really had a lot going on, and it just looked so nice. I personally didn't have it. Um, I knew a lot of people that did, and it just looked amazing. And this kind of started that trend of having like Dark Matter, Dark Aether, and, and games progressing forward. But for me, I didn't have it personally, but I know that this is probably number one on a lot of people's lists. But let's get to my number one. Number one. Might be a little controversial. The game's not that great. But the camo, oh, I wish it was in such a better game because the camo is so nice. And that's Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, Dark Aether. I have this personally. Um, I think this, this camo looks amazing, amazing, amazing. And it just fits every gun perfectly. And it, it's, it's like, for everybody that doesn't know, you have to get gold on every gun, which equals to get diamond and then having diamond in every category of, of shotguns and specials and things like that. Then you unlock the Dark Aether, and it is so beautiful. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this video does it justice, because I'm telling you, this camo is so nice. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your top 10 in the comments. I want to see what you guys think, and how far I was off compared to what you like, because everybody's got different opinions. But this is my personal top 10 of Mastery Camos in Call of Duty history. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.